Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Nermud on. I'm gonna be bringing you guys a gameplay over the Halo 4 side of it again. I've been running a little low on Call of Duty, so if you're a Call of Duty guy, that's kind of what you stayed for. I do apologize. I just haven't really been playing a whole lot of COD here recently. You know, I don't really have a whole lot of reason, I guess, to play it, to be honest. I mean, I know some of you guys might be like, well, you can go for diamond camo, but that's not really something I'm interested in. That's a visual effect that doesn't do anything for me, and there's no grind for that. I mean, it's probably going to make some of you guys angry, because diamond camo does have a certain criteria or grind to it, but it's not on the same level as getting max level, working on Battlefield, working on anything of that assortment, and I just don't find diamond camo to be something where I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I want to play another day or two to, you know, get all the camos or, you know, whatever. And I mean a day's worth of, like, playing the game, which, don't get me wrong, I've been getting a little bit more into it here recently, but, you know, it's still not on the same level as a original World at War or anything like that, you know, Black Ops 1, for example. Those games I didn't have a problem playing for a long period of time because, in my mind, they were built really good. I know some people don't like World of War. Perfectly fine. Uh, personally, I liked it over COD 4. Not saying COD 4 had any bad things or anything. It just wasn't the game I jumped into. I jumped into the online setting about, you know, towards the halfway mark of World at War. So, COD 4 really wasn't in its prime, obviously, then. I mean, it was a year and a half old then. And that whole, like, feeling of, oh, this is amazing kind of just wore off because it wasn't the first game I picked. Of course, your first game is always your most valuable game. It's the game you'll always look back on and you'll think in the highest regard and being like, that was a, that was a great game because you didn't know the flaws then. I mean, I'm not going to say World of War was a perfect game. Everybody knew the whole MP40 juggernaut thing. And that's a lot of their claims nowadays. It's like, oh, that's the thing that broke the game. But then when you talk about COD 4, no one overlooks like the M16 and the MP5 and, you know, the list goes on. There was a lot of guns in COD 4 that didn't really have balancing. <laughs> But when it came down to it, they were both amazing games because they redefined the market, and that's pretty much true. Where do you think games would be at now? Look at Call of Duty now. Do you think Call of Duty would be what it is without the, you know, the legs of the series? I mean, COD 4 brought everything to light. World of War maybe didn't bring everything to light, but it was the next installment, and it used almost the same engine. And the visual effects and the historical background were phenomenal. They had far more reason than COD 4. They had far more reason than any other game on the market at that time. Am I saying that they're perfect and flawless games? No, I have to relash this and make sure I say this again. They were not perfect. They had their problems, everybody knew them, but they were fun because people overlooked them. Nowadays, if there's a problem, everyone's all up in annies, you know, we got our pitchforks and, you know, our torches and on, lit on fire and everyone's all pissed. Because you would think by now Call of Duty would be on a, you know, set basis. And I do realize they add stuff into their game every consecutive basis. You know, they're constantly adding new weapons, new visual effects. Um, you would think that the balancing would be a lot more smooth. Unfortunately not. But it's just kind of how it goes. It's how the cookie crumbles, I guess you could say. I mean, there's not a whole lot of things there. And am I saying just picking on Call of Duty? No. Battlefield has the same problem. Halo's have the same problem. We've all heard the issues. If whatever game you play the most... You know what those problems are. You know what people abuse. It's just how it is. I mean, Battlefield ZM16. That gun has gotten so much flack that it makes every other gun in the game look like a joke. I mean, it's not a big deal then. You look at Halo. I mean, the rocket launcher, in my mind, that pisses me off more than anything. I think it's the most cheap weapon in the game. I don't think you should be able to kill players with it because it takes no skill. What do you get, like four rockets? Yeah, that requires so much skill. I mean, the blast radius is humongous on it. If you're even caught in relatively close to it, it's either going to kill you or blow up your um, shields or whatever. I just That kind of stuff pisses me off. Shotguns, of course. I mean, those have had a debatable history, I guess you could say. And at least the Halo side, Call of Duty especially. I mean, any, I guess any game, I guess. I mean, Halo, or, uh, Battlefields have the same issue as well, but eh, it's more perception. I mean, I'm sure they're balanced on black and white paper, but when you play the game... Of course, you know, nobody wants to die by bullshit. That's why, in my personal opinion, I think that the rocket launcher is kind of uh, lame. I don't really enjoy getting shot across the map with zero bullet drop on that thing. But again, that is just me. But anyway, guys, this commentary really didn't have a whole lot of basis around it. You know, it's a little late as of the recording of this and doing the entire thing. It's about 9 p.m., which I usually don't do commentaries at 9 p.m. I'm usually doing them around 4 to 5 o'clock, and kind of fell asleep and uh, woke up and thought I would get you guys a video going because uh, obviously I am on a everyday basis but when it comes down to it that's just kind of how it is and I talked a lot about this stuff yesterday about the grind effect and as I kind of uh, you know emphasized in this commentary I mean there's really not a whole lot to do as of this moment like I just really haven't been feeling playing online uh, the you know emotional side of it the gain side and everything 
I mean, I don't really have anything to do. It's kind of boring. I mean, I've been looking, and maybe you guys will see this. We'll see. I need to do a little bit more research before I'm just like, oh, yeah, this is totally what's going to happen. Because uh, I've told you guys that a lot, but a lot of the projects are still in the work. There's nothing I can do to make the people that make them look the best. I can't make them go faster because half the time they're not even online. And it's a little frustrating in my department. I mean, I don't know if Crybox's edits will ever get done. I mean... That's just how it is. I imagine that we'll get a couple more and we'll see, we'll go from there. I would like to do the whole archive of the weapons, but that's kind of up to him. I mean, I can't really control that and I definitely don't know how to edit anywhere near that. So, that stuff might be a, you know, 10 episodes and done, or maybe it might be all X amount of guns. I don't know. I don't know how many guns from Battlefield either. It's almost like 70 or more. There's a lot of guns. But when it comes down to it, that's just how it is. I'll keep you guys more posted on that kind of stuff, but. I just, I don't know, if I knew how to edit, it wouldn't be a problem, I would be, you know, cranking out a couple a day, and it'd just be a lot of fun, but unfortunately, I don't have the uh, software, I don't use Vegas, I use, um, well, I use Vegas, but I don't use Vegas Pro 12, I use the weird long version that's for, like, movies and stuff like that, short films, which, I like this one better, I think it's a little bit more casual in my department, it doesn't have all the effects, but I could say the same about Vegas Pro 12 as well, so, I guess it's a hit or miss on that one, but, when it comes down to it, guys, I just have a lot in store. I'm going to hopefully get stuff going, and I do know that I've talked to you guys many times about updates and the effects of stuff that I have on the horizon, which, you know, I'm going to try to stay true to all of it, but at the same expense, there's nothing I can do to control the secondary forces, you know, if they don't want to do stuff anymore, if they quit doing it. That stuff kind of just has to drop off the scale then, which really sucks, but um, not, not a whole lot I can do about it. I can't force people to do something that they don't want to do, so... I guess that's all I got for you guys. But when it comes down to it, I guess that's really about it. And as for the whole like gaming side of everything I have going right now, to be honest, I probably play like an hour a day, which is weird for me. I used to play, oh my god, way too much, let's put it that way. And that's, again, when I re-emphasize on the grind effect, like Call of Duty, I get them done in about a month and a half. That's usually where I'm at. I get it done as quick as possible because I know that I'm not going to enjoy playing it after a month. After that first month, I am so ready to get done with Call of Duty, it's not even funny. And hopefully by then, I'm in the higher prestiges. I'm, you know, more or less close to being done. Um, Black Ops 1 was a different case because there was 15 damn prestiges, which took not long. I mean, it only took me two months. So, you know, there's a little bit of a gap there. I mean, two weeks, big whoop. But, you know, I just don't really play as much as I used to, <clears throat> used to anymore. It's kind of unfortunate, but, I mean, what are you going to do about it? Uh, there's currently nothing on the market that I'm like, oh man, I want to play that, and there's nothing coming out here anytime recent that I'm going to be like, man, this is going to be so much fun. I was hoping DayZ was going to come out in December, didn't come out, which sucked, but when it comes down to it, once it does come out, that is going to be huge on my channel. Like, I don't know if I'll be playing Call of Duty, I don't even know if Halo or anything will show up on this channel, which is going to piss some of you guys off, and it's going to make some of you guys happy. So it's a hit or miss there, again, but when it comes down to it, like, DayZ is just so... Fun. It looks so awesome, and I cannot wait to bring that stuff to you guys. I think it'll be so much fun. It's going to be the worst time of my life to, to edit it, but if I do it right and I take a little bit of notes along the way, have another uh, monitor that's just kept completely for the engagement side, it shouldn't be too bad. Everything should be on track, and then from there we will go, and then, you know, hopefully everything will turn out to be good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos. Hopefully they'll be long. I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to want to make them, but... I would presume anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, that's a pretty good time lapse right there. It's usually what Gold Glove does for his Wasteland and Daisy stuff. I've seen that for a lot of other people. But going like that 40 minute mark, like um, Frankie in 1080p, uh, that's that's not something I'm really willing to do because that's a huge file. Like, if you guys have ever made 45 minutes long gameplays, you will know that that file is pretty much on the horizon of like 15 gigabytes. After it's edited, it's going to be huge. And that would take like an entire day to upload, even at my internet speed. That's pretty crazy. That would be a huge file. I don't even know how he does it. He must start the night before and start uploading all that because that is just the hugest file that you guys could imagine. And unfortunately, I can't really see what it is because you can't just download it because uh, YouTube compresses everything. But when it comes down to it, that's just huge. Like, I don't even know how he does that. It just, that would drive me nuts. But anyway guys I guess that's really where I stand I mean as for the gameplay side of it and all that I'm, as I've been trying to tell you guys I don't really have a set goal I mean I've been thinking about getting Arma 2 with the Wasteland mod and I've been thinking about doing some of that we'll see but I'm still not positive my tax return does come however in 14 days so I do look forward to that it's gonna be about six hundred dollars 
which I guess is good, bad, I don't know, whatever. And I guess that's all I got for you guys. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next installment. This has always been NMO, signing off. Until then, guys, peace.